Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the Canary Channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, Build 27695.1000. So, without further ado, let's begin. Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new position for the widget's entry point on the left aligned taskbar. The taskbar entry point will move to the left of the system's tray, and will be wider, so you can see richer content from widgets on your taskbar. When you launch the widget sport, it will fly out from the right side instead of the left side. You can now retrieve encrypted passwords during Active Directory recovery situations. In summary, this improvement resolves a key Windows lapse concern, of how to recover Windows lapse passwords in a disaster scenario where no AD domain controllers are running. There are some changes and improvements in this update like, the expiration date for Insider Preview builds flighted to the Canary Channel, has been updated to September 15, 2025, starting with build 27691. Please make sure you are updated to the latest build in the Canary Channel. Some insiders in the Canary Channel will begin to see an estimated time, showing how long their PC will be offline to install build 27695. This estimate will be shown on the Windows Update Settings page and via the Start Menu Power button. If desired, there's now an option to turn off the suggestions, to disable notifications from certain apps. You can now press the three dots within the notification, to disable it, as you can with other notifications, or you can go to the list of notification centers in Settings app, then System, select Notifications, and turn it off from there mentioned as notification suggestions in the list, this entry will only appear in the senders list after you have received one. The company is also rolling out the ability to easily share content to an Android device, from Windows Share Window. The feature requires you to pair your Android device to your Windows PC, using the link to Windows app on Android and phone link on your PC. There is an update to the widget sport, to improve security and the APIs for creating widgets and feeds for users in EE regions. As part of this update, the Microsoft Start Experiences app will power the Microsoft Start widget, and feed experiences, also, as part of this update, some existing widgets will be removed, and others will be modified, temporarily affecting their functionality. This update sets the foundation for new widgets, and other features in development, set to roll out soon. There are some fixes in this update like, fixed an issue, where pressing the Windows key plus E, a screen reader might unexpectedly say a pane had focus, or focus may not be set within File Explorer at all. Fixed an issue, that was causing Ctrl plus F to sometimes not start a search in File Explorer. Fixed an issue where keyboard focus might get lost, when pressing Shift plus Tab in File Explorer. Fixed an issue causing screen readers to not announce, when you were opening or navigating items in the breadcrumb flyouts of the Open or Save dialog. Fixed an issue causing screen readers to not announce anything, when opening or navigating items in the column header flyout in File Explorer. Fixed an issue where the colors in the performance section weren't displayed correctly, in dark mode. Fixed an underlying issue, which could cause Windows Sandbox to fail to launch with error, 0x8007005. An issue where installing Windows, by booting from recent install media, it wouldn't make itself the default partition, if another version of Windows was installed. Fixed an underlying issue causing defrag and optimized drives to fail, in the previous flight, with a pop-up saying, the file was not found. This is also believed to be the cause of seeing an error saying, the specified module could not be found, in the flight, when trying to use the backup options in the control panel. There are some known issues in this update like, if you are joining the Canary channel on a new Copilot Plus PC, from the Dev channel, Release Preview channel, or Retail, you will lose your Windows Hello pin and biometrics to sign into your PC, with error, 0xd0000225, and error message, something went wrong, or your pin isn't available, you should be able to recreate your pin by clicking, Set up my pin. Microsoft is working on a fix for an issue, causing the iMoji panel to close, when trying to switch to the Kaomoji and Symbol sections, or after selecting an emoji. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.